In our trader rundown today, Dan Deming of KKM Financials here to give us the rundown on how traders invest in America. Happy to see you. <laughs> All right. well, great to see you, Angie. Thanks. So the Russell 2000 is one of the indices that I think traders like to follow to see what's going on, that you can really get a pulse of what's happening. It is, and it, because it's small cap based, and like you said, if you're looking at companies based in America, definitely the Russell has a significant amount of, basically I think all those uh, names in the Russell are are uh, American-based companies. So you're looking at small to mid-cap companies and with a lot of exposure to what takes place here in the United States. We have seen a big ramp up in the Russell. Does the Russell tend to be a leading indicator on how well the U.S. economy is doing? I definitely think that it could be an indicator and a leading indicator for that matter for how well the U.S. economy is doing because the fact of the matter is that the exposure that those firms within the Russell, the makeup of the Russell, you know, their exposure is here in the United States. So they're very sensitive to economic conditions here and shifts in economic conditions in the United States. And we've seen that play out even, uh, you know, over the course of the last couple of months when we've seen any kind of inkling that the U.S. economic conditions are in advancing, the Russell has shown the ability to to basically outperform other major averages. Do traders use the Russell as a signal for the broader market? For instance, does the Russell tend to lead the Dow, the NASDAQ, or is it reversed? It just it depends. I think it's because you have to also take into consideration, Angie, the fact that where is that growth being realized? Now, if, if there's global growth out there, maybe you'll see those larger caps you know, be the leader during those time periods. But if it's US-based and you're seeing US economic conditions increasing, then the Russell has a tendency to be the leader. And I do want to point out that, you know, you, we talked about that index, the Russell index, mm -hmm. but the ETF, one of the primary ETFs based off the Russell is the IWM, and there's where you can get some exposure, and that's how a lot of traders play uh, the Russell index. What would be your forecast for the Russell? I think moving forward, again, it, I think a lot has to do, you know, with the beat that drum again, but again, these uh, government initiatives and tax reform and things like that, any kind of significant shift in tax reform, the Russell particularly, I think, will benefit from that because those smaller than mid-cap firms have a greater uh, exposure to reductions in any type of income tax structure that could be initiated by the administration. Are there any trader caveats to investing or trading the Russell? Well, uh, well, the thing is, the Russell has a tendency to be a little bit more volatile. So those small to mid-cap stocks are typically a little bit more volatile, particularly when you see some unrest in the global economic conditions or you even see geopolitical uh, unrest as well. So that's one thing that you do have to be aware of is the Russell has a tendency to be a little bit more volatile than some of the larger blue-cap names. Thank you for your trader talk today. Thanks for having me, Angie.